What if I told you one of the biggest breakthroughs in modern medicine spent a century hiding in a jewelry box? You've probably heard that x-rays were discovered in Germany in the 1890s, but here's the twist. A pen professor had actually captured the very first one years earlier by accident. Arthur Goodspeed in 1890 was experimenting with a photographer colleague using photographic plates and cathode tubes, accidentally exposed some plates that had coins on them to x-rays that sort of created the first x-ray that we know of. Arthur Goodspeed was a professor of physics at the University of Pennsylvania. He is credited with creating the first x-ray, not the discoverer of the x-ray, but credited with creating the first one. After Goodspeed had this accident with these plates, he left them lying around, and then when he read the article that Runchen had announced that he discovered the x-ray, he said to himself, I, f I did this, I found, I have this, I'm gonna go look for them. He published an article in Science Magazine, and that's the only place where he really said, I kinda did this first. So he tried to recreate the x-rays, but this time on purpose. His test subject, a coin purse. The result, a blurry shadow of coins inside. Not exactly Instagram worthy, but it was the spark of an entire field, radiology. It was very quick that they envisioned that medicine was going to be a good application for the x-ray. MR imaging is you know, arguably the most sophisticated technology we have today in medical imaging, but that work is really built on a foundation that was laid by the early pioneers of, of x-ray development like Goodspeed. Instead of a lab, these plates spent the next 100 years with the Goodspeed family not in a vault, not in a museum, in a jewelry box, wrapped in bubble wrap. When the family finally decided to donate them, the plates flew halfway around the world, from New Zealand to San Francisco, only to almost vanish again. The bag was stolen in a San Francisco hotel lobby. The thief ran off with an iPad, but left the plates, a near miss for history. Yeah, the thing about an iPad is that's very replaceable. Those early x-rays, you cannot get those back. Now they're finally home, preserved, protected, and celebrated, right where they began, the University of Pennsylvania. They're fragile, they're imperfect, they're not pretty, but they do represent the beginning of a revolution in medicine. From a coin purse to saving lives every day, discovery is in Penn's DNA, and sometimes it hides in the most unexpected places.